So now we're going to start to go into, uh, you know, weapons where distance become uh, a, a big part of, of the reality. You know, with uh, be it now a machete or a stick or an axe or a hammer or whatever object that's got a little bit of space where you're not really stabbing with a weapon or just hitting with a weapon close, where distance becomes very, very effective with this weapon. It's all the same thing. In, in Kala, we, we never, 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 never underestimate any situation. We just take it straight to worst case because worst case, you handle worst case, best case is going to be a little bit, not easier, but you have a better chance to deal with the situation. So, be it an ideal with a stick or with a hammer or a machete or whatever, it's all the same principle under that kind of stress and situation for you to analyze what weapon is this and how am I going to deal with this specific weapon is impossible. So, uh, we're going to take it straight to machete now let's analyze let's go backwards to this attack this this weapon needs distance to be very effective yes if this but hits you close by it can be very fatal shot i i definitely agree but from a distance if this thing hits my face or my body you're going to deal with a whole lot of damage in your body that's why we always say you're closing the distance we're not making distance nowhere we're not and we're not dealing just with this because this is not the problem it, it, it becomes more than just the machete it becomes any fighting it becomes i want to kill you be it with this weapon or not of course we want to deal with the weapon now first thing of course that i know is if wherever this thing is, it's going to make a lot of damage if i get damage to my head to my neck area that's it i need to protect myself as best as i can so like we said in the in the punch defense you're closing yourself we call this the box you're closing your head your body as much as you possibly can to protect what you have what what you have here is if it gets damaged it's over we're clo closing this as much as we can and of course we're closing the distance as quick as possible we're not waiting for this thing to hit my face and all of that before we close the distance and we're not dealing with the the funga or the whatever we're not dealing just with the weapon to take the weapon out and take our distance because the force and the speed that this thing is going to come with will destroy your arm or whatever you're trying to defend this way so we're using all our bodies to go forward as much as we can and then we're opening up to catch the arm now this arm can be there at the back it can already be from the front it can be somewhere i can't tell you exactly where you're going to catch it Closing the distance as much as I can, and I'm catching the arm again. One arm over, one arm under, as quickly as I can. Because this becomes a sewing machine to fight close and far and switching and all of that. I want to get to the arm as soon as I can to stop this movement. For the pulling, and of course, if this is a, a sharp machete, if this thing comes out, it will be very fatal for me. So, I'm securing the forearm and the arm at the back. And of course, Again, going to damage as much as we can to stop the motive just for a second for us to start to continue with the fight. And again, damaging as much as we can, taking down, not leaving the arm, I'm staying in my control, or grab the t-shirt or whatever it is for this not to pull out. And I smash, hit, whatever I need to, to get the weapon. I'm not taking the weapon from him. And then I'm taking my distance where I can see my attacker and so on.